I mean, the other thing also for me, and, and, and Nick, I mean, if, yes. I was, if I was in hospital, and, you know, regardless of whether I was or wasn't a religious person, you know, yeah. and, and someone said, as I went down to the operating theatre, I'm not saying this is when you did it, but, you know, I'll pray for you, I mean, it would fright the life out of me. I don't think... I think all this uh, young lady is guilty of is caring too much. I think she... Uh, what is appalling for her now is that... Did she overstep the mark? Uh, maybe a little. I hear what you say, but I really, really do. But she's now... We have now lost her. A woman of this level of experience is lost to the nursing profession. It's going to be very difficult for her to find work because I'm sure, as you're aware, in something such as medicine, if you've got a, a blot on your employment yeah. record, it's damned hard to get a job. So why is this? Last time I looked, we are living in a Christian country. People say, when I drop relatives off at church, I say, say a prayer for me. It's quite a light-hearted thing. It was two weeks ago, it was just a couple of weeks ago, that the Prime Minister said people should not be afraid to show that they're Christians in their workplace. Did this kid go a level too far? Maybe that much. I Does she deserve to lose her job? And listen to one of the words. I don't blame you, by the way. You're just being a journalist. An investigation was held. What's she doing? Trying to blow the, blow the hospital I up? I guess, Nick, Let's the only, the only, the only thing that I... Uh, what would you think about this point is that I guess when somebody's in hospital, they possibly may be feeling at their most vulnerable. I mean, it may be in other workplace, but, other environments, of course, speak freely, say what you like. But maybe because that person may have felt slightly preached to when they didn't want to, when maybe they were feeling more vulnerable than normal because they were in a place where they were being cared for and they, they possibly had whatever whatever their but treatment it, was. It, but they were at their most vulnerable. They are. So but did they need that at that point? But isn't that when you need committed people like, like this uh, yeah, girl here? You can be committed I, without necessarily handing somebody a Bible. I, I agree and I hear you. And the fact that, Sarah, you, you know, you were asked once mm. before and you, you weren't... That was an issue. But I think the fact that you now are finding it damn difficult to get work in a profession that you love, where we are crying out for people yeah. with your level of dedication, skill, compassion and care, and you just let your Christianity trip over that much, yeah. I think it is wholly wrong. I think it has no, to be that. I absolutely good, agree, good, good I agree person, with every point of that, but it's not yeah. letting your Christianity just trip you over. It's like being told not to do something and then continuing to do it, but, making patients I mean, feel herself, uncomfortable. But she's doing it because she believes that she's helping yeah. the patient. Absolutely, but Isn't obviously right? I mean, some that... of those patients didn't feel like they were being helped. Well, the thing is, though, you've got to look at things um, in the proportion in which I did it. I cared up to over... Uh, a thousand patients mm. and where a uh, few of them have come and, and, and complained about me talking about my faith and you've got to bear in mind they didn't really this is all second-hand complaints mm. um, from so patients no one to my said colleague. anything to you they just went they went off and complained officially but they totally. didn't say to you please don't do that N not to me directly because had they done that had just tell them that, what would you, yeah. you had they done that? In fact, when the girl got out, I was quite pleased. I had I had that chat with her. Had they done that? Um, I would have reviewed what I'll do next time. Yeah. And if you could now go back, say, to two weeks ago and, and changed your behaviour in any way, would you do anything differently? What would I do different? This is a question I have often asked. And it all, it's all, at the end of the day, boils down to the patient you are talking to at the time mm -hmm. and what they're, they're, what it's related to them at that particular time. It's difficult to really say yeah. what I could do differently. Um, so um, I, I have done. to ask you then, in that yes. case, would you do the same? I would not... Uh, what would I say? Would I do the same thing? What do you mean by the, the same? The, the, the thing that got well, you sacked? The thing that got me sacked is I could not convince anyone that I would not talk about um, Jesus Christ or I would not comfort my patients. But I would not... Without leading the witness, but if somebody said, I'm interested, sister, I don't want to hear about that, what would you do then? Oh, I certainly would just stop. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. Look, well, thank thanks. you very much for coming. Thank you very much. Well. Thank you. And obviously, as yeah, Nick quite you. rightly says, there um, an enormous amount of skill and compassion going to waste. You're uh, obviously which, a very uh, good person as well. Thank you. Thank you.